So we're quite close to both the east boundary and the south boundary of the Two park. Two years of research and planning have and led up to this day. Vegetation this ecologist unit. Dustin Ghetto recommended the prescribed uh, fire of 850 uh, hectares, larger, the land in the southeast corner of Prince of Albert of National of Park. Over 90 percent of the historic range of fescue grasslands has been lost due to agriculture, development and forest encroachment. And so here in the National Park, we have an opportunity to conserve and try to save some of these areas. The task of setting the fires rests with Ghetto. He'll sit suspended from a helicopter 50 meters above the ground. The fire will be started with small balls filled with potassium per magnate. A machine injects them with glycol as Ghetto pulls the trigger. We've been missing that fire disturbance to the area, and so we need to try to restore the, the fire cycle to what it once was, and part of that is getting wildfire down and burning through pine stands that say have mistletoe and trying to, uh, uh, trying to just burn through like, like it would naturally. A black liner buffer zone was cut through the forest in winter and spring by park staff. The fire management technician says it only takes a few hours to start the fire but it won't extinguish for one to three days. Wind is a, an important factor for us. We need some wind in order to make sure the fire is burning in the direction we want it to burn. Uh, too much wind, we can get some spot fires that then could go over our control lines. And so wind is, is even with the wildfires, probably one of the biggest uh, weather factors that we have to consider when, when lighting these. With tinder dry conditions and 15 kilometer an hour winds, a prescribed fire could easily get away. Suppression crews are on standby, ready to work the hot spots and the perimeter, while a helicopter equipped with a water bucket does the majority of the work from the air. Our type one initial attack fire crews here today and some other additional firefighters on site so that we can deal with those contingency actions if, if they arise. In less than two weeks, South End Meadows will turn a lush green. Historically, Plains bison would have foraged here. Ecologists hope birds and other small animals will return to the area. Very good deer habitat. We have elk herds through the area. Lots of moose will be, uh, especially after the fire, when the fire goes through, there'll be, uh, we'll sh there'll be lots of forage for animals like moose coming through. Highway 263 and Cookson Road were closed for the day. Sprinklers protected the Southgate building as a precaution. The park also consulted with the Provincial Wildfire Center prior to the burn to ensure the safety of residents and property at Emma and Anglin Lakes and the Paspo and Cultural Heritage Site. For GO, I'm Lisa Rizzo.